Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. In today's video, I'll be giving you the ultimate beginner's guide to Riven. I'm gonna show you what, uh, what her abilities do. I'm gonna show you how to use her abilities, how to combo her abilities, how to build Riven, tips and tricks, everything, everything. So, um, okay, let's get into the video immediately. By the way, there's timestamps in the description if you just wanna skip to the combos or the build immediately. So Riven's passive is very easy to understand. Whenever you use an ability, like as you can see, whenever you use an ability under your health bar, you can see the yellow thingy. And when you have it, boom, you deal bonus damage. As you can see, you know, abilities charge Riven's blade up to three times. And then, you know, you can get those charges out. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna use three abilities. You can get those charges out by hitting the enemy. Just like that. And as you can see, it deals significantly more damage per basic attack than normal. Okay, let's talk about the first ability. This one, this is her main ability. So let's talk about it. You can dash and dash and then knock up so these dashes all deal damage they deal the same damage but the third dash is a little different as you can see you know you deal damage during the dashes but the third dash boom it knocks the enemy up another quick thing to note about the third dash is that you can jump over walls as you can see you know it could be a game changer like you know these ones cannot actually jump over walls but this one can so um a thing to note about this one is it's actually you Oh my god, the Rift Herald, really? You can actually cancel your basic attack with it. And that's actually a really, really important thing. Man, this Rift Herald is really annoying me, huh? You can actually cancel your basic attack with it. So if we wait for this stupid Rift Herald to go back, we can place down dummies again. Yeah, let me show you. So, basic attack, first ability. Basic attack, first ability. Basic attack, first ability. This is very, very easy. This is a main thing. Like This is what you have to do on Riven. Especially because your first ability gives you the empowered attack. You get the, you know, you get the yellow stack. So boom, basic attack. So let me show you quick how you could do it. First ability, basic attack. First ability, basic attack. Knock up, basic attack. See? It's basically first ability, basic attack. First ability, basic attack. First ability, basic attack. Okay, let's talk about the second ability. This one is very simple. Boom. All it does is it stuns the enemy around you. And it, it actually stuns multiple if you're close to them. As you can see, boom, you can stun multiple enemies. Of course, this ability also gives you a charge of your passive. Boom, as you can see. Um, we'll, get, uh, we'll talk more about this during the combo part of this video, by the way. Now, your third ability is a dash. You dash and you get a shield. That's literally what it does. And you cannot dash through walls, by the way. So, of course, this one also gives you a stack. So, as you can see, you know, you can dash to an enemy, get a shield, and boom, stun them. But that's already a combo, but more about that later on. So, you know, very easy abilities, right? So, the ultimate is a very interesting ability. So, as you can see, this is my range, the range of my attack. And when I use my ultimate, you, may, you get a bigger blade, and your range becomes bigger. So not only does your range become bigger, you also deal 20% bonus damage. So you get deal increased damage, right? And, uh, wait, I actually need to show you this one second. So the blade is gone. Now take a look at the, this, my first ability. You see the range of it? But when I use my ultimate, the range becomes bigger. Boom. See, you can actually deal damage to enemies that are super far away from each other, which is very, very important ability. Uh, important to understand. Also, your second ability gets a bigger range. You know, look at this. Look, look at the difference. See, your second ability will get a bigger range. So you can stun more enemies. So obviously, your ultimate is an initiating ability, right? You can use it and then you initiate in a fight. However, there is more to the ultimate. Take a look at this, guys. Boom! This is like a shockwave that you can throw at the enemy. And this deals damage. And it deals more damage if the enemy is at low HP. So let me give you... Okay, actually, we already got all the abilities. So now we're going to talk about the combos. So the first thing to know, of course, is... Um, when you use your first ability, use basic attacks in between. So first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack. However, there is more to it. You know, there are actually more combos. So you can initiate with your, with your third ability to get a stack, right? You see the stack and then you hit the enemy. So let me talk, let me show you a really good combo. You initiate basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack. Let me show you. Initiate. Ba oh, okay, wait, I screwed it up. One second. <laughs> I actually screwed it up. Let's do it on this target. You initiate basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, and another basic attack. Now, you can also use your second ability in between if you feel like you need it. Like when, when I engage into three enemies, initiate basic attack, first ability, stun, basic attack, first ability, you know, you can do, you can do a lot, right? You can do a lot. 
So, um, let's talk about your ultimate. I want to show you guys something very important about the ultimate. Like, take a look at this. I'm walking, I use my ultimate, and it takes like 0 0.5 seconds, you know, to cast the ultimate. So, let me show you something very important, right? So, you can actually cancel the animation of your ultimate with your first ability. Let me show you. This is very important to understand, guys. Here. Boom. You see that? So during like during the ultimate, you are you're already dashing, so you actually cancel the, the animation, so it goes way faster. So you don't actually waste the time, right? Um and a really good initiator is initiating with your third ability and then immediately casting your ultimate. Take a look at this. This is yet another way to cancel the animation, guys. You can initiate with your third ability and immediately click on your ultimate. That way, you know, you're going to cancel it immediately. This is very, very important to understand, guys. Like, you can you can surprise an enemy so hard with it. Like, you can just flash, boom, and fight him. Stun him, everything. And about the second ability, guys, this one, like, comboing this ability is really, like, it depends. It really depends when you feel like you need to stun. Like, let's say you're engaging with your third ability, you hit them with a basic attack, and now they try to run away, boom! Then you can stun them, right? That's kind of how it works. <laughs> okay. So, um, another basic combo to catch out an enemy, like, this is like a catching out combo, is using your, th but not an all-in combo, this is just a catching out combo. Using your third ability to get close to the enemy, basic attack, Stun them immediately because you're catching them out and then your first ability and then of course use basic attacks in between your first ability Let me show you real quick This is what it looks like guys So you initiate with the third ability you like you could like you can choose to basic attack in between But if you really want to catch them out fast, you can do it like this but the thing is, you don't do max damage when you do it. That's why I didn't recommend it to you. That's why I'm recommending uh, you initiate with the third ability, basic attack, and then you stun them. Because you really want to utilize... Oops, you really want to utilize the passive, guys. This is very, very important to utilize. And your ultimate... Um, like when you use your ultimate, you get it for 15 seconds. So you really want, like when you use your ultimate, you really want to all in. Like um, here, you know, with your ultimate, you can combo so many things. You know, all the combos that I talked about obviously also work with the ultimate. But another thing to note about the ultimate here, like, you know, the bonus range is so, so important to understand, guys. You know, because you can stun so many enemies, hit them with your first ability. Like here you can see how small the range is of my first ability. Look, I'm only hitting this dummy. But when I use my ultimate... I'm actually hitting more of them. Take a look at this. How easy it is to hit all of the enemies. This is huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Huge, huge. So there are actually more combos that you can do with Riven. But these are the basic things that you need to understand on Riven. Um, actually, let me show you one more thing, you know, that you can actually do. Boom. You can flash with your sec you know you can flash with your ultimate you you're not you're probably not going to use this too often only to really catch out an enemy like you know enemies trying to run away you just use your ultimate and flash to just barely catch them right <laughs> um okay yeah so i'm gonna repeat very important to understand is to cancel your basic attacks basic attack first ability basic attack first ability basic attack first ability always do this i never want to see riven players just do this Please, guys, don't be that Riven player. That's not how Riven works. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a challenge for this video. If this video reaches 3,000 likes, I'm going to make a Riven gameplay video. I'm just going to learn Riven and make a gameplay video. By the way, I also made an Aurelia video. So, if you want to check out the Aurelia video, you know, I'll put a link to it in the description. Or you can just look up Hell's Devil Aurelia. Um, okay, let's talk about the Riven build. So, this is the Riven build that I just constructed. And... Um, Let's talk about it. Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver recently got a buff and with Riven, Black Cleaver works perfectly. It synergizes so well because, of course, the first ability. Basic attack, first ability. Basic attack, first ability. Basic attack, first ability. You're dealing physical damage every single time. So you're going to stack up the Black Cleaver super duper fast. That's why it's an incredibly strong item on Riven. So I want to say already, I made this build right now. It's obviously going to change throughout the time, but you can start with this build. Like right now, this is going to be a really good build, but obviously the build is going to get better when people get good at Riven. As my second item, you must go play to really be like to really be able to catch out an enemy. This one is really, really strong. However, if you're against a lot of burst damage, you can choose to get um, um, 
a death stance. Or if you feel like you don't need the movement speed, you can also choose to get a Sterex Gauge. This is, this is just a safe item for Riven, you know, it's always going to be good to get a Sterex Gauge as your second item. But I really like uh, Yuma's Ghost Bait to catch out enemies really easily with it, right? So as my boots, Glutinous Griefs, because you deal so much damage, that's why you, like, you're going to regenerate a lot as well with these boots. So as I, I'm going to repeat here, you know, Death Stance is really good against burst damage. However, if the enemy has a lot of armor, like you already have a black cleaver, um, you should get a mortal reminder as your fourth item. Not as your third item, because this one still provides enough value, but like in the late, late game, if they have a lot of armor, get it as your fourth item. Otherwise, you know, you can get it as your fifth item, and if they don't have a lot of armor, don't even get the mortal reminder. What you can get instead is a guardian angel, right? Guardian angel is also always going to be a good item. So, and um, there's another item that you can pot potentially go for, which is Maw of Marmortius. If the enemy has a lot of ability power, you can choose to go for a Maw of Marmortius. Now, another interesting item on Riven is Bloodthirster. Now, I honestly, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just this item has so much attack damage and Riven's abilities all scale really well with attack damage. Because, of course, her ultimate gives her 20% bonus attack damage. And this item has the most, like, the most attack damage in the game. So, you know, you could experiment with this item. I don't want to recommend it yet, but definitely worth experimenting with. Because as I said, you know, Riven uh, skills really well with attack damage. And you don't want to build an Infinity Edge because crit doesn't really work well on Riven. That's why this item is very, very interesting. The Bloodthirster. So, so you know, give it a test. I'm going to give it a test. And, you know, I said it first. Uh, Bloodthirster on Riven. So, um... As your runes, Conqueror. Very, very easy to stack up the Conqueror, right? With your first ability. And as your second rune, it depends really what you want. Like, um, if you go for a Death Stance, if you go, or if, sorry, if you go for a Bloodthirster, I don't really recommend you to go for Hunter Vampirism because you already have enough uh, uh, physical vamp. What you can do instead is you can go for Brutal, for example, you know, just for, this, for the early game damage. You can also get a Triumph. This is obviously really, really good in the late game where you're finishing off those enemies and it's going to allow you to heal up, right? So I really like Hunter Titan on, on Riven because it gives you that, uh, 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 what is it called? Tenacity, yes. So you can continuously harass the enemies with your abilities, right? Because, yeah, she can really utilize tenacity really, really well. You can you can actually also get bone, plater, bone plating, but I don't really recommend it because, you know, you're, you're already, like, you're not the squishiest champion, so you don't really need that one. So Hunter Titan is going to be a very nice save rune. And as your fourth rune, you can either go, for, like, I don't really like Sweet Tooth. And the reason that you should go Sweet Tooth only is because it's such a broken rune. It gives you so much gold, but it's not really good on Riven because she doesn't really use mana. So Hunter Genius is very, very good on Riven, you know, just to give you that ability haste. Um, for your spells, you can either go for Ignite or uh, uh, Barrier. It's both going to be good. Honestly, Ghost could be interesting, but nah, actually, you know, just go for Barrier or Ignite. They're, the Ghost is just a bad one in Wild Rift, so yeah. That was it about the Riven Guide. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.